home page is not just the first page. It's the first impression of your entire website that can turn your visitors into the customers. Hello people, this is Maham from Experimental Addons and in this video, I will show you how to design a perfect home page using Experimental Addons that not only looks great, but is actually built with marketing in mind. We will be designing with purpose, placing the right elements in the right place so you can guide visitors naturally, build trust, and increase conversions. So, let's get started. All right, let's take a quick look at this perfect example of a homepage template. First, a perfect homepage must have an attention-grabbing hero section that immediately tells visitors what you offer with a strong headline, a quick short description, and a convincing CTA. Then right after that, make sure to have a feature section. This is where you highlight the top benefits or the standard features of your offering. Then this section is your about us section or you show your expertise here. This is your chance to show that you know what you're doing by highlighting your team experience, your tools, or in other words, why someone should choose you. And once you have built some trust, there comes this service section. This is where you list your actual services about what you do, how you help, and the solutions you offer. Then make sure to have a contact us section to help visitors to get in touch with you quickly. This is the part where most of the conversions happen. And last but not least, include a testimonial section with real customer reviews to build credibility and trust among the new customers. Now, without further ado, let's design this perfect homepage step by step to grab your visitors' attention and increase your conversions. So all you need to do is go to your WordPress dashboard, click the page and then add new page. Give it a name and adjust the layout. And finally, click add it with Elementor. And there you go. You have your blank slate to create a perfect homepage from the scratch. Okay, so first up, obviously we'll design a hero section. This is the first thing people see, so make it count. Here, I'm just picking a layout, making a quick few adjustments. And I always like to start by adding the image. Because I believe once the image is set and aligned properly with some margins and padding adjustment, everything else gets easier to build. Okay, so then our hero section needs a bold and scroll-stopping headline. For this, I'm dropping Expro heading widget. It is so smooth to work with and I love how you get full control over its typography, styling, and I believe it's your jackpot to craft a heading that actually grabs the user's attention instantly. And hey, if you've never used this Expro widgets before, don't worry because we've got a complete tutorial on each one of them. So if you want to go deeper, feel free to check them out later. Okay, now coming back to our design, make sure the heading on your hero section is clear and not something generic like maybe welcome to our website. I mean, people should know, they should understand what your website is about the moment they see it. So keep it short, direct and meaningful. And don't try to do so much styling here. Keep it clean and subtle. From a marketing point of view, this heading is your hook. I mean, this is where your visitor decides whether to stay on your website or leave. So make sure your heading really grabs their attention. Now, just below that, I'm adding a text editor widget for the quick description. Here, we will add a little more context, but we're still keeping it short. You don't want to overload people when they first land. And use this paragraph to include your primary keyword naturally here because this helps search engine understand your page better and improve your ranking. So from SEO point of view, it's a gold. Then, of course, a button. I am using the Expro button widget here. It just gives you more styling power. Always place this button right under the main text. And always make sure that the text in the button is clear, action-driven, and of course, encouraging. I mean, it should make people feel like clicking it will lead to something helpful. And it is not just a sale trap. And, um, I'm trying to keep this button prominent here. Give it a color that really pops up. But just make sure that it still matches your brand style. And one more tip, guys. Try sticking to one CTA here. More button is equal to more confusion and fewer clicks. 
Now, right after the hero section, make sure to add the feature section. Because after grabbing their attention, I mean your visitor attention, you will want to quickly show what you offer and how it benefits them. I have set up a flexbox layout here. Made a few adjustments to the width and direction. And nested a container inside it. That's where I'll build the first feature block. Then I'm dropping the Expro icon box widget. I like using this one because it's super flexible to work with this widget. I mean, you can easily adjust the icons, paddings, and description. And also the spacing is really smooth to control. Now make sure each icon here should show a key feature or maybe a benefit you offer. I mean, something your audience would care about. Then add a clear and simple title. It has to be something that just exactly tells what the feature is just at a glance. And see, when you write these titles, use the exact word people are searching for on the Google. Because it makes it clear for search engines to match your content with what users are looking for. Which of course, help your page rank higher. And now for the description below, keep it short. I mean, use it to point out the common problem your audience faces and then show how your feature helps solve it. Now, once you've styled the first feature, it's best to maintain that same design across the rest. And you know, what's the simplest way? Is to duplicate the first one and then adjusting the icon, title, and text to match each specific feature. I mean, think your feature section like your product menu easy to scan and helpful to understand what you bring to the table. Next up, you will add a section to build trust. It's kind of your why us or about us section. I mean, this section is more of a soft marketing. You build emotional connection here. And let me tell you, it sells more than a list of features. So what I'll do, I'll use a three column layout here. In the first column, I'm dropping the expro heading widget for the section title. This heading needs to be attention grabbing, something that instantly let people know what you stand for. And make sure the spacing around the heading is clean and consistent. It should look well placed and easy to read. And in the second column, I'm adding a short paragraph with the text editor. Keep this part personal. Google values expertise and trust. So in this section, talk about your real experience and expertise. It helps your site show up on the Google and makes people trust you more. Like you can share a quick story, a value you believe in, or something that gives a little background about your work. It helps your visitor feel a connection between you. Then. In the third column, I'm adding an image. It could be your team, your workspace, or something behind the scenes, you know? And that's it. This section helps people feel confident about you. And from a conversion point of view, it kind of like warm them up before you ask for any action again. Then this section is somewhat like your feature section. But instead of showcasing features, you're highlighting your services. I mean, this is where you show what you can do for your audience. Whether it's a specific service or a set of solutions, make sure to keep it focused and easy to understand. You can use the same widgets you used for the feature section, like the icon box, heading, and the text editor widget. These are great because they allow you to highlight your services visually with icons, then provide a short description for what each service does, and why it matters to your audience. So just like with the feature section, make sure the content is short, simple, and easy to digest. The goal is to communicate quickly how each service benefits the user and why they should care. Now the contact us section. This is almost the end of your homepage, but more conversions happen at this point. Here, simplicity is the key. So we'll use Expo Elementor's contact form widget to create a clean and easy to use contact form. Add the details you want from your customer. Add 
and for the layout i'm keeping things clean with lots of white space to make sure the form stand out i'm also going to make sure the cta on the button here is action driven something like we used before get a quote This drives conversions because it's easy for visitor to take the next step. All right, now let's add some social proofs, the testimonial section. Nothing builds trust faster than hearing good things from real people. So what I'm doing, I'm just quickly adding a heading widget for the title. Then dropping a container, give the required adjustment. And now I'm dropping the expert testimonial widget here because it looks modern and doesn't take up too much space. You must add two to three client code. Keep them short and direct. For example, if you have names or client logos, add these as well. It gives the feedback more credibility. And you know why is this section important? Because it removes the doubts. I mean, if a visitor is unsure, Seeing real feedback from others can help them take the next step. So, make it count guys. And that's it. We have just built a full home page using Expo Elementor add-ons. Trust me guys, these widgets really help. They give you so much control to build something that not only looks great, but actually work to get more clicks, more call, and more results. So take your time, try things out, and build a page that feels right for you. Now, if you like this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.